League winners. Let the pros show you how to make money. General Manager Al DeMarco, a regular contributor on Fox Sports, MSNBC, and Comcast Sports TV, brings over 25 years of handicapping experience to the table. CEO Steve Budin, the author of Bets, Drugs, and Rock and Roll, is the man responsible for creating the online betting industry. Together, they lead PickNation.com, your number one source for winners. Some huge games on today's college card. Chief among them, Oklahoma taking on Notre Dame and Norman. And, of course, down in Jacksonville, you have the world's largest cocktail party with Florida taking on Georgia. But, guys, I can tell you again, and I tell you this every single Saturday, the way to make money on a busy card, whether it be in college football or college basketball, is to concentrate the most where the odds makers concentrate the least. Hi everyone, Al DeMarco here, general manager of the world's largest online sports gambling community, picknation.com. Proud to be joining you here on foxsports.com for a sixth consecutive season. I've got three free picks and some teaser advice coming up for you in just a moment. I've won eight of my last 10 freebies, hit two out of three last Saturday for you. Now, those two games I just talked about, I think, Oklahoma might be the play. I think Florida might be the play. But you don't bet on hunches. You don't bet on games you just have an opinion on. Now, these free picks aren't necessarily my best bets on today's card, but they're quality selections. And let's start it off going to Camp Randall Stadium, where you've got a Big Ten battle between Wisconsin and Michigan State. The Badgers laying the six, six and a half points at home. Listen. This is a game where both teams certainly had uh, great contests when they met twice last year. You remember Kirk Cousins, final play, Hail Mary pass, upsetting Wisconsin in the first go round, then Wisconsin scoring late in the second meeting in the Big Ten championship game. That comeback engineered by Russell Wilson. Problem is, Kirk Cousin and Russell Wilson, they're in the NFL, guys. You've got two different teams here. So in this particular contest, I'm going to go with Wisconsin and lay the points because I think Michigan State is in a very difficult spot coming off a loss to arch rival Michigan a week ago. Meanwhile, the Badgers are starting to roll. Uh, they have won three straight games. The offense is certainly producing. Monty Ball and the ground game is getting the job done as well. They've won 21 consecutive games straight up at Camp Randall Stadium. They've covered 11 of their last 13 as a Big Ten home favorite as well. Meanwhile, Michigan has lost, or excuse me, Michigan State has lost three of its last four games following that 12-10 loss in Ann Arbor. And the Spartans just one and five against the spread their last six overall. So go ahead and lay the points with Wisconsin. Guys, before we go any further, remember every single week at picknation.com, we're running a free fantasy football league contest, $500 in total prizes, top 20 finish in the money, and it's free to enter. So do it today. Go to picknation.com. You'll see the free contest. We run it every single week, guys. You can enter it every single week. $125 to the winner. Second place worth 75 bucks. Third place, $50. Top 20 finish in the money, $500 total prize pool free fantasy football contest over at picknation.com next game we're going to head out to the pac 12 where arizona state looking to rebound and bounce back after getting humiliated on national tv at home two thursdays ago by oregon and a 43 21 blowout by the ducks that wasn't nearly as close as the final score indicated but keep this in mind about the sun devils and todd graham's first year at the helm they had started the season five and one straight up five oh and one against the spread prior to being crushed by oregon Today, they're playing in revenge against a UCLA team that struggled to beat Utah 21-14 at the Rose Bowl last week. And keep in mind, the Bruins the week prior lost to California 43-17. Home team has covered five straight in the series. Revenge definitely on the minds of the Sun Devils in this one because last year they dropped a 28, uh, excuse me, a 29-28 decision when they missed a 46-yard game-winning field goal on the final play of the game. UCLA had taken the lead on a touchdown pass with just 49 seconds left in the contest. So again, Arizona State minus the six and a half. That's the way I'm going in this contest. Listen, guys, you can get my best bet today, and it's another 15 dime max wager your release just like last Saturday's winner of the Clemson over Virginia Tech just like the winner I touted a couple of weeks ago here when Kansas State beat Kansas by 40 I said Wildcats would win by 30 hell they won by 40 this play is just as strong you can get 
get that best bet and all the plays of all 10 handicappers over at picknation.com today for free, no strings attached, by checking out the one-day all-access pass free trial. You are going to get five, $600 worth of action for free, no strings attached. And why am I doing it? Well, guys, I believe we put together the best group of handicappers that can win on a consistent basis for you. What better way to prove it than by giving you all of their Saturday action, all their best bets for free, picknation.com, one-day all-access pass. Next game. I'm going to go one to one of my favorite conferences this season, the Mid-American Conference. I'm going to back Northern Illinois minus the seven points at Western Michigan. Now, Western Michigan is coming off back-to-back -back road losses to Kent State, 41-24, and also to Ball State. Uh, they are one and three straight up and against the spread since their starting quarterback, Alex Carter, went out with a hand injury. And his replacement has thrown nine interceptions in relief. That's not going to get the job done against a red-hot Northern Illinois squad that has reeled off seven consecutive wins since opening the season with a one-point loss to Iowa. Uh, Northern I Illinois has also covered nine of the last 11 in the series. They won at home last year, 51-22. to 22. Uh, Their quarterback, Jordan Lynch, has had a great season. He's run for over a thousand yards. He's thrown 13 touchdown passes as well. Northern Illinois doesn't get the credit it deserves because naturally it's from the Mid-American Conference, but the Huskies very strong in terms of red zone defense. In fact, fifth in the nation, allowing opponents to convert on just 59% of their red zone opportunities. To put that in perspective for you, Alabama's number four at 58, and in case you're on Jeopardy next week and Alex Trebek hits you with the question, who's number one? It's Oregon, guys, 52%. So those are three solid picks for you. But listen, guys, I also have a suggestion for you. Think about playing a teaser. Now, teasers are not sucker bets. Teasers allow you to manipulate the line, two-team teaser, where you're taking six points, and you can hedge the odds in your favor. I look for teams to tease that are laying between six and eight and a half points at home. And here's a couple of games for you that I just talked about today. You could take Wisconsin. If you're not that confident about laying the six points against Michigan State, you can take the Badgers at home, where I told you they've won 21 consecutive games straight up at Camp Randall Stadium in a pick -em situation against Michigan State. You can take Arizona State, minus one, in revenge at home today against UCLA. A couple of other suggestions for you. You can look at the Northwestern uh, Iowa game. Now, true, the Wildcats did blow that game last week at home to Nebraska, but Iowa got pummeled at home by Penn Penn State, Iowa, 4-10 and 10 against the spread its last 14 road games, and you've got Northwestern playing in revenge. Northwestern, you can have the Wildcats pick up at home. How about Kansas State? Love Kansas State in the teaser today. K-State minus 7, I'm not that convinced, even though Bill Snyder's team has made me a lot of money and made you a lot of money this year as well. Lang 7 at home against a Texas Tech team that can put points on the board, okay, that has me a little concerned. But this is a Kansas State team that has covered 18 of its last 20 regular season contests. In the teaser, you're getting K-State minus one at home. So if you're considering a teaser today, let me recommend Wisconsin pick them at home against Michigan State with Arizona State minus one at home against UCLA in revenge. Or you can take either one of those teams. I'd prefer Wisconsin. Hook them up with K-State because the Wildcats, I don't think, are going to lose this game laying just one point in the teaser-adjusted price against Texas Tech. Well, that'll do it, guys. Remember, you can get my daily video reports every single day for free over at picknation.com where I give you free picks backed by in-depth analysis just like you got right here. And remember, catch our Sunday Countdown to Kickoff program when we break down all of your NFL action tomorrow right here on foxsports.com.